back my sandbox project and um, today we're going to be going through another little aspect of the game um, so today we're going to be going through how the crafting and we'll possibly go into the smelting um, we'll see how much time there is but they both run on a similar kind of um, pattern how they work um, there is three scripts for each one and I believe there is only one object uh, not remember which bit is in, mind you. Uh, is it in one of these? <laughs> there it is, output. Um, yeah, so one object for each, so crafting and furnace. So we'll start with the crafting, because it's, well, it's probably more complicated, but once you've done the crafting, you can do the smelting, because it's basically a, a simple crafting. Um, so what I need to do to start to actually show you guys um, what this is is to get the block so it is 12 that's not right uh, 13 then it must be yep there it is uh, so what it is uh, is a block you craft it uh, in the game you place down, obviously it's, it's a little bit buggy at the moment, it's meant to go over two blocks um, but basically once you're within range, I'll show you just quickly, so we're outside of range we press C um, well the crafting of my game it works differently to most people so you'll see we have charges so each um, crafting recipe requires a certain amount of charges and how you get charges is by standing near a crafting uh, source as it is but you could have this either way so you could have it so that it only works when you're near the source uh, I'll just go over that in a minute and basically when you click on these um, yeah, you can see there not enough resources not enough resources not enough resources so most of these would be not enough resources um, if we didn't have the charges then it would be not enough um, charges uh, but yeah once we've got enough stuff for example if we've got enough wood uh, which we'll have to add uh, add four I think it is maybe five maybe six <laughs> uh, hmm maybe it was even later I do it hmm I don't know what the uh, number for wood is, let's uh, consult here. That's the problem, we've got uh, quite a few objects so it starts to get a little bit more complicated. I can't have thought we've put wood to that late. Okay, wood, wood is three. <laughs> so I'm sure we tried, and then we for some reason missed out three. Um, yeah, there we go, we've got wood. So now if we go and try and craft stick, we need a couple more. That many if we go craft stick. There you go. The cra the charges have gone down. To get more, we've just got to stand near this thing. A bit hard. Yep. Pick one up. And you can see if we go to the inventory, um, it's not got the correct placeholder, but the um, it's probably this one is the stick because uh, we use a temporary placeholder. But yeah, you can see it's crafted it. So we'll go over how that works. So there's just one object which controls it. Uh, the create event key SI, I'm not sure what SI is, we'll find out in a minute. Um, amount coords, we'll ignore the coords stuff, and load. So if we are loading up from a game, then this just sets the charges to be the same as what they used to be. Okay, so the step, this is kind of pretty simple. Um, well, I say simple, but this. All it is is it's checking whether we are hovering over one of our crafting selection options. Um, then if we've pressed it, and then we've got this thing. So we have I, so the index, and you've got to imagine that on the other thing that was about 9 or something, um, blocks or choices, and I stands for each individual choice. Uh, script craft, all that does is it assigns a nice little name to this ID so you can see we've got eight well 
9 if you count 0 um, and this is the name that gets displayed so what we're saying here is if this does not come back as blank so if we are correctly hovering over one of our 8 or 9 selections it returns this name um, then we move on to the next step so var item just holds this name the numer uh, the not numerical the um, literal name and then script crafting processes this and returns what it needs so for the example of the pickaxe what it says is we need material 0 is going to be wood and we're going to need 2 material 1 because obviously we start from 0 it's going to be stone we're going to need 1 um, the amount holds the amount of ingredients required so in this case we've got wood and stone uh, and charges how many charges um, that it takes to make it's pretty simple um, that is just a big database and it's all kind of the same stuff really there's nothing amazing going on here um, and then we've got a few errors so this is what makes the scripts a little bit um, different so we're just going to look at this bit for the timing because this just deals with the other half so if imagine we've got our two lists the first is the first list the second is the second list they're exactly the same apart from the fact this starts on 0 5 and this starts on well it starts on 0 5 but it adds um, a set amount anyway back to this so we've got the three errors uh, charge error, resource error, weight error um, so what this does is it takes the it loops through the amount of ingredients, checks where that ingredient is um, not equal to zero. Then it sets this, which is mat, to true. So what this does is it holds whether we've got that. Um, so it adds to the weight, or the weight total, even so the weight total holds how much crafting this is going to um, give you. So if you minus the weight of the ingredients and add on the weight of the product, is this going to work? So the if the charges are greater than the amount we have, then we have a charge error. And we're going to say that's false. So we're not going to proceed on that basis. Um, if we go to the next bit. This is just looking for suitable x and y coordinates. Um, well, we're, we're searching for the ingredient. If it does not equal minus one, so if we do have that ingredient there and the count is greater than the count we need, then we just proceed. Otherwise, we've got resource error. And we set this to false because this is our checking variable. This is effectively another error but it just continues for every single one so it can tell you exactly which material has gone wrong effectively um, right this just says global weight plus the weight of the item is greater than the maximum weight plus the total weight um, then we get a weight error basically this just means there's never any point where you go over the weight um, and then this is just processing these so if there's a weight error um, we're gonna say enough room enough crafting charges enough resources so then we can have potentially not enough room not enough crafting charges not enough resources um, so you can process all three errors all at once at the end now we've got the pro proceed and prove whoops didn't mean to do that um, if we've got a weight error we're not going at all um, then this is scrolling through all the ingredients if any one of these is false or the material is um, equal to zero or not equal to zero even we don't proceed and then this one's got to be set to true so if mat does not equal zero actually I think this one's false I don't know why I've done that um, I think we want to keep 
that one as false yet. So potentially you could flip that around because that would be much nicer. But anyway, we'll just leave that for the moment. Um, next bit. So we've got again a loop through the amounts, um, and then we're just checking if all of our checks have come through as true. Okay, so yeah, they do have to come as true. Um, then we're doing another loop with the ingredients and checking this again. I think we've already checked this here, so I guess this isn't necessarily um, proper. But then all this does is it repeats for the amount, um, the numbers we have, and removes the items. Then it's it minuses the charges, tells us we've crafted it, shows the debug message of what we've crafted, and then it finally adds the item and breaks from the loop. I think effectively, well, we should also even break from this loop um, to be correct. But um, yeah, that, that should do it for the most part. Anyway, the other one is exactly the same. The other bit, uh, as I said, and I think I've shown. Yeah, okay, we've, we've forgotten this one. Um, this is an important script, it's the final script. So we've, we've been through this. This is just the database. This is converting the ID to the name. What this does, it takes our name and returns the ID of the crafted item. So in terms of pickaxe, it's six, stick, 20, you know, um, Leon, 19, it goes on. Uh, just quickly, smelting is literally identical, as you can see. Um, all it is is a very simple version of the crafting. So instead of having multiple um, ingredients and numbers, all it does is it takes in an or outputs a um, pure stone almost, uh, I don't know what the name is uh, bar, that's the one, um, so it takes in the or, returns the bar in its purified form uh, so yeah, that is the basis of how my crafting and furnace works, of course it could be optimised so you could have um, the list of ingredients below the crafting because at the moment it's a bit of um, how has you click on it you don't really know what ingredients you need um, without using a bit of common sense so yeah it definitely could be improved but um, that's just how the basis of it works uh, anyway if you like this video remember to like subscribe or do you guys want to do and I'll talk to you in the next one